Okay, so you're about to design and build your villa in Spain and you want to know how to make it energy efficient. In this video, I'm going to run through with you the mechanical and engineering installations that you need and take a quick look at the passive house design principles. Hello and welcome to the channel. And if you're new here, my name's John Wolfendale and I'm the founder of EcoVida Homes. We take what might seem like a daunting and complex prospect of building your own home in Spain and we make it simple. So if you need some help, contact me through the website ecovidahomes.com. Let's start with the passive house design principles because once you've got an energy efficient house, then you need far less energy. And that means that your renewable energy system stand a much better chance of fulfilling all your energy needs. One of the passive house design principles is to have an airtight property. So that means very good fitting doors and windows. And in fact, if you go for the passive house certificate, which is entirely optional, then it's quite fun because we have to do the blow test, which means taking an enormous fan, closing all the doors and windows of the house and blowing air into the house to measure the hermetic seal of the property. Now, if you've got a hermetically sealed building, then you're going to need a mechanical ventilation system. And I love this particularly because it also makes your building uh, very healthy and comfortable to live in. And what happens is that we mechanically extract the dirty and wet air from the kitchen and from the bathrooms, and we exchange it with uh, fresh air from the outside. And as that exchange takes place, it exchanges heat with a, um, a heat exchanger. So if you've already got a warm building, perhaps in the winter, or a cool building, perhaps in the summer, then you conserve that heat or that cooling effect for maximum energy efficiency. Okay, so the next passive house design feature is super insulation. And there's a number of different ways of incorporating super insulation into your design. One is to wrap your building up in exterior insulation. And the other is to incorporate insulation into the structure of your external walls. Now, either way, you're going to have the added benefit of great acoustic insulation too. And that means we can be nice and quiet and peaceful within our homes. Now there's a couple of weak points that we need to address. One of those is the windows. So we must have very high quality windows in the property. Uh, and there's the whole subject of fenestration and shading and so on, which we will go into. And the other potential weak, weak point um, is thermal bridges. So we need to design our property to reduce or remove altogether thermal bridges in the external envelope of the property. Once we have our highly energy efficient design, if we attach to that a renewable energy system, then we may reach a point where we're using no energy from the grid. So we're not burning any fossil fuels and we're saving ourselves a lot of money in electricity bills. So the most obvious renewable energy source in Spain is the sun. And we encourage our clients to buy as many photovoltaic panels as they can afford to generate electricity. And in a new build, we discourage the use of uh, solar panels for hot water. Why? Because uh, if you have solar hot water, then you're going to have a lot of hot water in the summer when you don't need it. What you need in the summer is electricity for air conditioning. And it's a great sense of satisfaction to have a very cool building, as much air conditioning as you like, and it's all free energy from the sun. So do you also need a battery to go with your photovoltaic system? Well, if you're off grid, then you certainly do, because you're going to be wanting to use electricity at night when the sun isn't shining. If you have an electric car, then you've got a big battery in that and you can incorporate that into your domestic electrical system and you may be drawing down electricity from the car battery to use within the house. If you're on grid, then you have the option of using the grid as your battery. 
you're drawing off the grid when you need it, such as at night time or when the house is full of guests. And when you're generating excess electricity, then you're selling it back to the grid. OK, so you've got your energy efficient design. Uh, you've got your renewable energy source. Now what you need is a heat pump uh, to maximize the use of the energy that you're generating. And there are air source heat pumps, which are the most common, and there are ground source heat pumps too. And you might want to look into those depending upon the ground conditions. And there you have it, an energy efficient villa, one that is warm in winter, cool in summer, without burning money or fossil fuels. Now, maybe you're thinking about renovating a villa in Spain, in which case you need to watch the next video. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you like this video, like it and I'll see you in the next video.